Whenever Vanillaware decides to release a new title, that's when you know that you need to stop everything you're doing and pick up that title and play it. Unicorn Overlord is no exception because that right there, this title brings me back to the 90s. It is that evocative for me. I love turn-based strategy games and this right here really just hits in every way. I mean, everything that you know, Vanillaware has released, you know, 13 Sentinels, Dragon's Crown, Odin Sphere. You know, we could go all the way back to the Princess Crown days. Like, they release bangers. And like I said, Unicorn Overlord is no exception. And in this review, we're going to be talking about why you should definitely pick up Unicorn Overlord. And big thank you to Sega and Atlas for providing a review copy of the game. Let's go ahead and get into it. The thrill of a new Vanillaware release can hardly be overstated, and the premiere of Unicorn Overload was no exception. Initially, the game's teaser sparked curiosity about its genre, especially coming off the heels of 13 Sentinels' Aegis Rim, a narrative-heavy game celebrated for its divergent storylines. Given Vanillaware's historical penchant for action RPGs and the noticeable gap since the last such offering, speculation was rife about a return to this genre. And yet, expectations were upended when the trailer unfolded a tactical gameplay experience, commanding character squads in a mix of real-time and turn-based combat. This approach was not just innovative, but also evoked a nostalgic reverence for me personally for Ogre Battle, which is a personal favorite of mine, and a rare gem in the gaming world. Unicorn Overlord's story is set against the backdrop of the besieged kingdom of Cornea. When Queen Alenia facing defeat entrusts the safety of her son Elaine to Joseph, a knight of unwavering loyalty. Joseph's covert upbringing of Elaine as a knight culminates in the latter's leadership of the Liberation Army, embarking on a quest to free their land from the tyranny of global oppressors. Players find themselves at the helm of this quest as Prince Elaine, strategizing to liberate territories under duress. At first glance, the narrative may seem reminiscent of typical fantasy and tactical RPG motifs, complete with usurped royalty and malevolent regimes. However, the plot gradually diverges from these tropes, revealing a depth and complexity that initially seems absent, offsetting initial impressions of predictability. Interestingly, it's the game's side missions that capture the imagination more vividly than its central storyline. These quests delve into the localized struggles of famine and disease, introducing players to a cast of characters deeply intertwined with the player's military efforts. This not only enriches the game's world, but also adds a layer of strategic replay value, enticing players to discover alternate narratives. Vanillaware's hallmark of exquisite hand-drawn artistry breathes life into every aspect of the game with character interactions set against stunningly painted vistas. While the narrative scenes are minimally animated, this choice does not distract from the otherwise fluid and detailed animations that define the game's combat sequences. Let's talk about the game's audio. The game's auditory experience begins on a high note, with an opening track that sets a lofty standard for the rest of the soundtrack. Although not all pieces achieve this pinnacle, the overall composition effectively accentuates the game's highs. Voice acting further immerses players in the game's narrative, with performances that lend credibility and depth to the story of war and liberation. The selective absence of voice acting in certain game segments, notably the overworld interactions unfortunately, diminishes the perceived importance of these character developments. I think it's something that they could probably patch and add more voice lines, but maybe this is just part of the Vanillaware aesthetic that they just, you know, they give you a little bit here just to say you got something, so stop complaining. I don't know, maybe. In terms of gameplay, Unicorn Overlord distinguishes itself with a sophisticated strategic framework that appeals to a broad spectrum of tactical game enthusiasts. The game's design encourages both deep strategic planning and accessible play, accommodating varied preferences with customizable difficulty settings. Unicorn Overlord departs from traditional tactics game conventions with its unique combination of freeform movement and a blend of real-time and turn-based combat, offering a fresh perspective on strategic gameplay. This inventive approach enhances the game's appeal by challenging players to adapt to new strategies and gameplay dynamics. 
Quests are the core of the gameplay experience, diverging from the conventional RPG mission selection format in favor of an open world exploration that prompts strategic considerations based on terrain and specific battle conditions. This exploration is enriched by the game's dynamic approach to the combat scenarios, each with unique tactical demands. The game's introduction of time limits and quests, while initially a source of concern, integrates well into the overall gameplay mechanics, offering a balanced challenge that emphasizes strategic foresight over hurried gameplay. Combat in Unicorn Overlord emphasizes pre-battle strategy, with players' tactical decisions prior to engagements dictating the outcomes. This emphasis on strategic preparation may not suit all players, but showcases Vanillaware's commitment to a deep, customizable combat system that rewards thoughtful planning and adaptation. And with a roster of over 70 classes, each offering unique contributions to combat scenarios, the game encourages inventive strategy and adaptability, ensuring a varied and engaging gameplay experience. Unicorn Overlord, while not universally appealing due to its intricate systems, stands as a monumental offering in the tactical genre for those inclined towards such gameplay. Its innovative mechanics combined with a high replay value characterized by diverse narratives, items, and classes mark it as a groundbreaking strategy game. Vanillaware has not only honored the legacy of Ogre Battle, but has also elevated the genre, delivering an unmatched and continually engaging tactical experience. I am giving Unicorn Overlord a rating of 5 out of 5. And that's the review for Unicorn Overlord. Again, thank you to Sega and Atlas for sending this over for review. What do you guys think of this game? Is this something you're considering picking up? Are you also a fan of Ogre Battle and you love how this is more ogre battle than you know triangle strategy was whatever your thoughts are let's go ahead and get the conversation going in the comment section down below and if you want to pick up a copy of this game i will have affiliate links down there as well and also pinned to the youtube video so with that being said i hope to see you guys in the next one stay safe be blessed have aloha and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out and a holy hope